Well, thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution. We talk about everything crypto almost daily, jumping right into the market today in crypto. We're going to start at the lower term time frames and work backwards. But Bitcoin one hour chart, you've just seen an attempted breakout by the bulls. We're waiting for futures to open, stock futures. I think stock the stock market will continue to lead Bitcoin. Remember, 68% chance that this breaks out to the upside because it's a falling wedge, right? These are very good patterns. These are some of my favorite patterns to trade because they have a very high likelihood of breakout to the upside. If you get a fake out, right, you know that everybody's trapped and you got to trade the other direction. Real simple. So you see Bitcoin attempting this breakout right now and potentially a hard rejection. But if you get a bullish retest, again, upside continuation. And then how do you pull the measured move? It's this distance here. And so that gives you the potential for a move up here to about 24,500. Again, you got futures about to open. So what are futures gonna do? What's the stock market gonna do? That's the main question that I wanna know next. So a lot of people ask me like, Chris, when you start to look at the charts for the day, what do you look at? And so this is kind of the order that I look at them. First, I wanna go know what's going on Bitcoin short term. Understanding on macro perspective, I already have an idea in my mind exactly of this idea where you've got a high, a low, a higher high, you just need a higher low. And I mean, potentially, is this it? And then the next push higher should be a higher high. Got to be able to call the audible. If this happens, then do this, right? So this is the daily chart. So what you've got is Bitcoin potentially forming a pattern. And you just assume the price action continues in the pattern until it doesn't, right? So you had this low, high, higher low, higher high. Now, the most probable area for this pattern to come to, the price action, would be to revisit this area, which is about 22,600. At some point, like, do you get to move higher and then come back down here and touch it? Here's what you do know. You do not want to see a breakdown of this level because that just changes everything. There's a, this is supposed to break lower, 68% chance this breaks lower. However, if this is the bullish move higher after an extended bear market, call it, call it a bounce, call it the beginning of something bigger, we don't know yet. But what we do know is if you get a break and hold of 25,000, 25,200, everything starts to change, right? You're looking for 28,000 comes quick after that because there's not a whole lot of resistance, but completely rational to think you might see a test of this lower trend line. I mean, it came down here and tested this support area right here. And there's short-term upside ideas right here. But what will the stock market let Bitcoin do? And that's what we're going to get into in just a second. So just zoomed in again. Uh, this is a daily chart with the, the golden cross. Do you, here's the issue here. All right. So you got a daily candle close coming. You basically have this you, I mean, one, two, three, four days, five days of red downside for Bitcoin. Well, then it's coming up and it's potentially this level here. You don't want to see a bearish retest. Otherwise, this support circle makes a lot of sense, right? If it doesn't break and flip this level, it's not going to higher prices. You're looking for the most likely move to be this area here. Then could you see a move to the upside? Sure. And so what I propose you consider, if you're new in trading, is you wait till the impulsive moves higher, impulsive wave moves higher, impulsive, and you trade the strength, right? You buy into strength. Instead of trying to catch these little trades on the way down. Now, on KuCoin, you can do it. There's a ton of winners on KuCoin, but they have taken a hit based on this Bitcoin downside. If we get the opportunity to buy right here, this is like, hey, calling an audible. You get an opportunity on a bounce. So you're looking for a falling wedge on a lower term time frame, one hour. That would be a good place to load altcoins, right? Small caps, especially. Like these, these small caps have been just given tons of green, crazy percentages. Do, if this thing breaks down 
with volume at this level, just wipe the slate clean, could come down to 20,000. Got some amazing shout outs to give in my trading group. This person, I grew my account from thousands to seven figures starting in your group. This person, $2,500 made in five days, short and long, trading both ways. This person, I need to find the deed to my house that your group bought me. He bought a house with what he learned in the group. This person started with 11,000, ended up with over 100,000. I mean, that close to 10X, right? We're nailing the bangers on a consistent basis. I got the best team you can get and we're finding all the winners, right? Right now, for one week, we're lowering the prices, rock bottom fees to join the group, $200 off, lowest price ever, plus 60% off the... Go over to my website, cryptorev.net. Join. Listen, if you have any questions, email me, cryptobitcoinchris at gmail.com. This is the main issue right now. We've talked about this time and time again. I've covered the weekly chart on more videos than probably most people because it's so important. You've got this key resistance right here at about, like we said, 25, 25,200. You've got the red 50 simple moving average and the 200, right? Which is a death cross. I you don't want to see a bearish retest of the 200 either, otherwise downside, but we're going to go with what we do know. What we do know is very strong, very bullish. If you see this one thing, focus on this, a break and hold at 25,000, 25,200 would mean much higher prices out of Bitcoin. Now the dollar is at key resistance, right? The dollar had a significant run up and Bitcoin did what? Pulled back. It doesn't always work exactly like this, but clearly the dollar is strong. Stocks take a hit, which happened right here. Stocks took a hit. Bitcoin took a hit and the dollar is pumping. And the dollar is strong, bad for the crypto markets, bad for stocks, traditional markets, right? So now I want you to consider this idea. We talked about, this is ES1. Exclamation point. This is S&P E mini futures. Very good representation of what the stock market's doing. You got your high, your low, your higher high. Now I'm looking for a higher low, right? You got this falling wedge, 68% chance of a breakout. Futures just opening. So I want you to understand that you should get a breakout and move to the upside based on this pattern. Highly likely. Let me go back to this idea. So this is a zoomed out version of the same thing we're looking at. You get this bullish retest and you're looking for short-term upside based on this idea. Take a break right now. You need a bullish retest out of the stock market. You do not want to see this thing. This thing breaks lower. Wipe the slate clean. We're starting over because it's not going to be good. Bitcoin could possibly see 20,000. Right? We're in ROSN on KuCoin and you have... 800% gains or more. Let's look at this thing. Moon mission. Oh, now 831% gains on ROSN. So why did ROSN do this? Or how can you find setups that are going to do the same thing? Look for these coins on the small caps. They're the easiest because they freaking can pump hard. So first I'm looking for some type of falling wedge, right? Based on these previous scandals. Broke out but didn't pump whenever you see this you're going to deal with this reaccumulation as soon as you see this rounded bottom right you're talking parabolic gains like these when you, anything rounding you'll see the biggest gains out of these guys right not always nothing is always in crypto right if you've been watching this channel you know that but you want to see a break above the 200. You can go on trading view. You can go to indicators. I've got my own indicator, five SMAs. Okay. And it will give you the 200 in yellow, the 100 in blue, the 80 in purple, red is the 50 and 21 is white. As soon as you get, as soon as you start to see the price action break and holds above the 200, Bitcoin did the same thing previously. 
bullish retest, break out, and then bounce, retest of the 200, and then it just takes off, right? DYDX is a trade. It just hasn't popped yet. I mean, technically, coin crumbles. This obviously won't play out. But if, the, if Bitcoin behaves, you've got bottom, 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 and then volume, breakout, and then you've got price compression, and then you're just waiting for another impulsive wave higher. You can see, again, measured move is going to be somewhere like this distance, right? So you could come up here in this area, $4, right, for DYDX. Very solid, very solid technical pattern. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Definitely leave a comment in the comment box. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.